Do you share your food with your dog? Or maybe you don't because you're not sure if it's gonna be good for them. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go through the human foods that are perfectly healthy through to downright deadly. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole with Podorable Finds and I am obsessed with helping dogs and their owners live their best lives. So in today's video, we're gonna go through human foods that your dog should and maybe shouldn't eat. And to kick us off, we're gonna go into the top five foods on my list anyway, that are downright deadly to your dog. So number one on the list is chocolate. I think most people are aware that chocolate is just not healthy for your dog. And the culprit here is a substance called therobromin. Now therobromin is in all chocolate from white chocolate to baker's chocolate. The darker the chocolate, the higher the concentration of therobromin and the deadlier it is. It impacts your dog's heart, which could lead to tremors, seizures, and of course, death. Similarly, caffeine has a very, very similar effect and impact on your dog. So that's the caffeine that you would find in coffee, tea, sodas, even some chocolate. But the main culprit in caffeine is methylxanthines. I know that's a mouthful, right? But again, very similar um, outcome as you would have with chocolate. So absolutely no caffeine. Next on the list is uh, alcohol. So any sort of alcohol for your dog, of course it's going to impair your dog as it would a human, but it takes a smaller amount to have a much more adverse effect on your dog. In addition to you know sluggishness and lack of coordination, it really does trigger breathing problems which could lead to coma and of course ultimately death. Next on the list is artificial sweeteners, specifically xylitol. So xylitol is, um, like I said, it's an artificial sweetener, but it can be found in sugar-free products, so chewing gum or sodas, but also a lot of baked goods. You'll also find it in toothpaste of all things. So you really wanna be mindful of the ingredients of uh, the products that you're bringing into your home. Not only will this boost of insulin create low blood sugar for your dog, but it also creates elevated liver enzymes, which could lead to liver failure. And finally, yeast dough. So that's dough that's made with, with yeast. So if you can imagine the yeast, when it ferments, that's what raises the dough. So if that's ingested by your dog, then that is going to cause bloat in your dog's stomach, really uncomfortable. But the other thing is this could twist, it could become very, very dangerous for your dog. And finally, the yeast, as it ferments, it turns into ethanol, so it could lead to alcohol poisoning for your dog. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the things that you can feed your dog, but really in moderation, things that you really wanna be mindful of. So first on the list is nuts. Um, some nuts are better than others, of course. A lot of them have you know, fat content, elevated fat content, uh, can be dangerous in the long term for your dog, but macadamia nuts specifically can be very harmful for your dog. So it only takes about six macadamia nuts for, their, for you to see any uh, adverse effects. And with macadamia nuts specifically, although it, it shouldn't cause death, you will see elevated temperatures and even uh, potentially some seizures if your dog ingests macadamia nuts. So one last note on nuts is that because of the high fat content, likely it will just cause a, maybe a slight tummy ache and maybe some uh, diarrhea. So definitely you wanna make sure that, you, that any nuts your dog ingests, aside from macadamia nuts, it is in moderation. Next on the list is grapes and raisins. So grapes and raisins really isn't something you should feed your dog. If your dog happens to get into some grapes or some raisins, it probably isn't going to be a big deal on a one-off occasion. However, um, it's really unknown what the toxic substance is in grapes and raisins. Um, and through doing my research on WebMD and ASPCA, etc. But what uh, they have found is that it could lead to kidney failure. So this is definitely not a, a food group that you want to be feeding your dog regularly. Next on the list is onions, garlics, and chives. Oh my, now with, with these substances, what they can do is impact the red blood cells in your dog. So it could lead to anemia, 
A bit of a side note here is that it can be particularly toxic to cats. So for some reason, cats are far more susceptible, especially to garlic and onion. So really be mindful of that if you also have cats in your home. Next is raw eggs and raw meat. So a lot of people will put a raw egg in their dog's food. The thing that you really wanna be mindful of is that it's top quality, top grade, uh, because there's still a risk of salmonella or E. coli in any of these raw products. Definitely something you want to be mindful of. Um, like I said, I know it is a common practice, especially with raw eggs. And finally, dairy. So yeah, I'm gonna be the party pooper here. I'm gonna pick on ice cream. But the thing is with um, any sort of dairy products, including ice cream, um, dogs have lower levels of lactase in their systems. So they have a harder time um, digesting anything with lactose in it, i.e. milk, dairy products, etc. So definitely want to keep that in mind. You want to maybe have that in moderation with your dog if you want to give them a bit of a um, a cup of ice cream as you can get through Starbucks or whatever, but uh, just really keep an eye on that. They may have a slight tummy ache, a bit of diarrhea, and potentially some vomiting. And as a side note and a bonus tip when it comes to things that should be fed to your dog in moderation, any of your sweet or salty snacks. So as an example, popcorn. Popcorn on its own, perfectly healthy. But if you have sweetened popcorn or salty popcorn, you want to keep that in moderation. Anything sweet, they're going to, it's going to have a similar impact to your dog as it would to a human. So anything sweet could cause, you know, teeth issues, that sort of thing, as well as diabetes. And then the similar to uh, salt, right? So definitely in moderation, you don't want to be giving them a high salt content diet. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the things that are perfectly healthy for your dog. So there's so many things that you can share with your dog or feed them. So number one on my list would be fruits and vegetables. So there's lots of fruits and vegetables that you can feed your dog, uh, aside from the ones that I spoke of. Just keep in mind, especially with the fruit, Things like peaches or plums, uh, you want to make sure that any pit or big seeds are removed because they, that could be a choking hazard, as well as any seeds, say in watermelon, that that's also removed. You really don't want something like that to get stuck in your dog's uh, intestines. That could end up being a vet visit. Next on my list, of course, is cooked lean meat. So lean turkey, chicken, that sort of thing. Uh, they will love you for it, but it's perfectly healthy for your dog as well. Starches are really good for your dog. So that would be rice, pasta, and potato um, cooked. These are really good for your dog. But one side note when it comes to potatoes, potatoes raw can be very toxic to your dog. So make sure that they're well cooked and you're good to go. Next on my list would be yogurt. I know we just talked about dairy and that should be kept in moderation, but yogurt actually does have, with the probiotics in it, it's, it's great for your dog's gut health. So go ahead, yogurt, but you don't wanna have it sweetened or any other additives to it. So plain uh, yogurt should be perfectly healthy for your dog. So there you have it. These are the list, of, at least my list of top five foods that are downright deadly to your dog, some that you can feed them in moderation and the ones that are perfectly healthy. Tell me in the comments what you think you will be feeding your dog next it, or if you even decide not to uh, share your food with your dog. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me and help me out a whole lot if you would hit the subscribe button. And if you like videos like this, hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next video that I put out. In the meantime, thanks again for watching and have an awesome day.